Hey there, I'm Reynaldo Velasquez and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you some simple space saving bathroom products that also happen to be rental friendly. So I've recently moved into a new apartment and it has a much smaller bathroom. And it really forced me to get out of my comfort zone and get creative with the space. Now for reference, the new bathroom looks like it hasn't been remodeled since like the 1970s or 60s even. Maybe the 80s, I don't know. The colors are crazy in here. The tile is um, outdated. The, the colors, I can't get over the colors. And to get the feel for the size of this restroom, I went ahead and I measured the restroom. It is 59 inches by 84 inches. I still wanted to add my own flair to the space but I also wanted it to be sleek and masculine and I also wanted it to have like a little bit of simplicity to it but at the core of it all whatever I decided to do with this I wanted to make sure to keep one thing in mind and that was that it needed to be able to save space and whatever li limited amount of space that I did have in there I wanted to make sure that we could put that to good use and get the best of that so after a few months of searching on YouTube, looking at a few different websites, I decided the next thing I wanted to do is go to Amazon. I made me a brand new list and I started just going through it, adding all the different little items that I thought I would want or need. If there was different options of things, I would save all the options. That way I can go back to it later and pick the best option that was right for me at the time. And after a little bit of saving and finally deciding what I wanted to get, I went ahead and got the items, set them up, installed them in the restroom, and I wanted to share those with you today. So the first thing I want to talk about is this shower caddy organizer that I found on Amazon for about $15. It comes in black or silver. It can hold up to 22 pounds and it doesn't need to be drilled into your walls or tile. It comes with a pretty strong adhesive and it comes with these little hooks that you can hang a towel or loofah on. You can keep your bottles on there so that way they're not on your tub sometimes when you leave bottles on the tub they'll get that little algae or a little bit of slime or something if they're just sitting put for too long and i really didn't want to deal with that so i have this here it even holds my razor um, this thing has been a lifesaver for me actually but anyway for the value i don't think you can get almost any better than this it's simple it's out of the way if I ever get any bottles in the future, I can just store them here. So next up, for about $40, I got this three-pack wall-mounted soap dispenser on Amazon. Each one holds 17 ounces, and they're removable, so you can be able to clean them as well. They have these little sight glasses in the front where you can see the level of your soaps in there. And the top of the lids remove also, so you can clean them. They do also come in options. So instead of squared, you can get them in round, like a rounder color. You can get them in gold or silver or white. They come with this stainless steel pull T handle down here at the bottom. It's actually very firm. Uh, I like it a lot. Just the perfect amount of soap gets dispensed, gets dispensed every time. 
and I'm not overusing soap like I used to when I would do it manually. These are also perfect for RV campers, cottages, tiny homes, Airbnbs, maybe places like offices where you wouldn't want people to access them. The lids lock on the top so that way people won't be able to access the soaps in there. And there's also locks at the bottom. So these locks actually hold the containers upright so you unlock them and you can remove the containers for being able to clean them easier. Here I just did a pretty simple upgrade that anyone can do. It's basically I replaced this shower curtain rod. I went over to Bed Bath & Beyond and got a new one. It's a lot nicer than the old one. The old one was all dirty and rusty. And it's those small details that really help like spruce the place up a little, you know? Um, so it's a tension rod. You just kind of like screw it and unscrew it until it tightens up against the wall and then it'll just hold up your shower curtain. I do have these kind of cheap hooks on here. I'd like to get some nicer ones and maybe a new shower curtain as well. I feel like this shower curtain's lived its days. I don't feel like it fits with this environment exactly. Another thing that I'm gonna show here in a minute is the shower curtain liner. I, right, it's like the cheapest liner you can get. It's, it's like a plasticky material. I personally don't like it. I'd like to upgrade it to maybe a fiber so it's not so loud and annoying. But anyway, that's just a personal preference. Next up, I want to show you what I'm going to replace this shower head to. This is what came in my current apartment. And this is my son's restroom, which I've kind of gave the same setup as mine. But this is what I'm going to be replacing it to. Found this on Amazon for $18. It's got a little turbofan jet. It's got a pause button feature right there. And you can also control the speed. Pretty much the water flow. Now that pause feature actually came in handy once at my old apartment. When you have those single lever handles that only have one handle, that pause feature will help you to not get sprayed as soon as you turn on the cold water. But it did not come with this shower head holder or the hose, so make sure to look that up if you decide to get one of these. I originally saw this on an Instagram ad and I thought it was kind of funny because I don't really trust those type of ads too much. It screams low quality. But let me tell you, even though it does seem cheap, it comes with three filters and those filters, when I've replaced them, the, they are dirty. And that's because I was in a brand new apartment. I was the first tenant in that apartment and the water still was dirty in that line. So don't overlook this. And the way the water comes out it, and the fan blade spinning at the top, it gives you a good massage. It's perfect. Look at that water pattern. You can't really see it, but it's a really awesome spray pattern and it's super unique. I love it. Next up for about $48, I got this three pack of glass shelves that come with wall mounted hardware and they also come with, a, with an adhesive that you can glue onto your wall if you're in an apartment complex or anything so it'll be easily removed you basically glue them onto your wall let it sit for 24 hours before you set anything on there and so far i've gave them a tug and they're pretty sturdy i use them for all my daily essentials i've got my mouthwash q-tips floss i've got my colognes up top and um, everything seems to be holding up pretty well on this last shelf over here at the bottom I do have a candle, but I want to put a Bluetooth speaker there, but I'm not sure. Or who knows what I might put there. But overall, I'm really happy with the way this has saved me a lot of time and space in the morning. And uh, 
yeah that's all i really have on that they're excellent and one of the last things i want to mention is that they are rated for up to 30 pounds each i'm not sure if i want to try putting anything on there for 30 pounds but that's really great to know On this shelf, I keep my apothecary canisters that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond for about $20 to keep my dental floss and Q-tips in there. I also found this mouthwash station on Amazon that I keep on this shelf. And for about $16 on Amazon, I got this amber glass mouthwash dispenser. It comes with a spigot on top, so it always has a smooth, easy pour. It's never dripping on the floor or anything like that. It comes with a little holder for three ounce cups. It even comes with the cups and a little stand at the bottom too. It also includes a funnel so you can refill it a lot easier when you're done. And the glass bottle is real glass, not plastic. It comes with black labels and white labels and it holds about 16 ounces. I also got this three wick candle at Bath and Body Works. It has a nice masculine smell. Sometimes I'll light it and keep the restroom door cracked open so that way it kind of bleeds the smell into my bedroom. Right here on this empty little space on the shelf, I wanna put a Bluetooth speaker or maybe even a plant or who knows. But I mean the nearest plug, if I, there's no plug there. Like the nearest plug is right there next to my sink. So I don't know. I can't use a plugged one. I'd have to do something that charges and then, you know, just keep it on the shelf somehow. And last but not least, I'd really like to get some more of these Apotheca containers so I can just put some more of these dental floss essentials in there. But I don't know if I need them yet. For about $15, I got this black and silver hair dryer holder on Amazon, but it also comes in all black and white and silver. It fits most hair dryers. I just plug it in right there on my outlet and I'm ready to go. I used to keep my hair dryer on the floor, rolled up in the closet somewhere, but this keeps it nice and neat and out of the way. And it also comes with a wall adhesive so you don't have to drill into your wall. Perfect for rental properties and uh, like my apartment, of course. But I've been noticing I blow dry my hair a lot more often now that it's so easily accessible. And the sink area. As you can see, there's not a lot of space here. It was super cluttered before. I do want to replace my hand soap dispenser eventually but on the bright side I do have this awesome toothbrush holder it holds my two toothbrushes there and it's kind of translucent if you hold it up to the light you can see right through it I like it because it's a little curved it's not all squared off and super masculine it kind of breaks up the room a little bit and um, I forgot the price on this one but at least seven to fifteen bucks For about $50, I got this stainless steel waste basket on Amazon. It holds just over three gallons and it has a brushed finish to it. It really helped me get away from those plastic trash cans that I've been kind of starting to hate where the bag is always sticking out on the outside. I really love the fact that it actually hides the bag on the inside. It does have a seam on it, but you can always place the trash can in a way so you can hide the seam.
It does have a removable exterior that overlaps the bag. So that's what my trash cans used to look like before. And I didn't like that. Sometimes the bag comes off and it's loose and you throw something heavy in there and the bag just comes off of the trash can. You gotta put it back on. But with this method, it hides the bag, keeps everything sleek, clean and elegant looking. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm going back. For about $26, I got this Renfo scale on Amazon. It comes with different color options, holds up to 400 pounds. Uh, you Bluetooth sync it with a smart app and it'll tell you all your body composition and everything you need to know. It tracks unlimited amount of people. It has a child mode for kids or pets and it's compatible with Apple Health, Samsung Health, Google Fit and MyFitnessPal. Ah, you can't forget about the little rug, right? The little shower rug. I got this shower rug from Bed Bath & Beyond. I like the way it feels on my feet with those nice little grooves. But I really got it because I wanted something simple. I've had the furry ones, I've had the plush ones, and they always seem to get soft. And I don't like them. I can't really wash them the way I want to wash them. This one is as thin as a towel. I wanted to feel like a hotel room when I walk in there. and. Um, I can just throw this in the washing machine and dryer just like I would all my other towels. Next up is all the improvements I want to do but not sure if I will do some of them because I live in an apartment. Like replacing this towel holder here. You can find these on Amazon or any hardware store. You just unscrew them right there and, and right there and there you go. Bada bing bada boom you got a new one but I don't know if I want to do that you know. Also, I want to find something to do with that. I had this thing, it just gets me by, but I know they sell better ones out there, more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, you can also swap out your shower handles and whatever that is, a little drain down there. Look how ugly these are in my son's room. I kind of want to swap them out. I might actually do it. Doorknob handles, you can do the doorknob handles. You can swap them out to something a little more aesthetic. Just keep the old hardware, of course, so that way, when you move out, you can always replace them. Oh, the mirror, dude. I wish I could. At my old apartment, I could have swapped out the mirror because it was just a hanging mirror. But this one looks like it's screwed in with some sort of rusted technology. And uh, I don't think I'm gonna mess with that. What if I pull these off and the whole mirror shatters and now I'm liable for it? Look at that cracking mirror. But they have these awesome mirrors that have LED lights and also want to replace this right here get a little i keep wet wipes there but uh that looks not good i want some wet wipes with like a little caddy like a little wet wipe holder you know anyway that's pretty much it